Examined life versus experienced life. Socrates famously said, The unexamined life is not worth living. But is it not the case that people can find great happiness simply enjoying little things and relationships with others? Can you put hard work into the pursuit of wisdom and still have time and energy left to actually live and enjoy your life? By saying that the unexamined life is not worth living, Socrates meant that the pursuit of truth is the highest virtue. One should devote one's life to philosophy, to mindful and critical approach to life. Socrates would want us to cherish the pursuit of wisdom and truth and not mere earthly pleasures. We would all turn into stereotypical scientists wanting to understand and explain everything. All our behaviors and outlook on life would be strictly rational. We would be like botanists, classifying flowers instead of being like poets, who stare at them in awe. It is obvious that most people are not concerned with matters of philosophy or science. They don't try to analyze and rationalize everything. Instead, some people derive great happiness from very bodily passions, as opposed to pursuing intellectual goals. There are professional cyclists, divers, dancers, who, when performing their acts, are in a state of flow. They are so focused on what they do that all other things disappear. They feel tremendous joy. We can say similar things about many artists, painters, musicians, writers. When they perform or create, they feel they are doing something meaningful. And indeed, because of their talent and hard work, we get many pieces of art that enrich our culture and our lives. Had these athletes and artists not put so much dedication, time and energy into whatever it is they do, our lives would be so much poorer. We wouldn't have read their books, we wouldn't have admired their athletic performances, we wouldn't have been inspired by their paintings. Were their lives not worth living? It's hard to find a balance, if it's even possible. That's why we so easily recognize such archetypes as the sage, or the explorer, usually not as a single person. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde is probably the most known example of exploration of such a marriage. The results are far from stable, as we all know. You would want to live your life in a reflective way, being wise, pursuing truth, examining your life. But you would also want to get as much out of your life as you possibly can, go on a wild adventure, express yourself. Be alive. That is the conundrum of life itself. Understand the life or live the life to its fullest.